Where could I go? Oh, where could I go? Seeking a refuge for my soul. Needing a friend to save me in the end. Where could I go but to the Lord? Praise the Lord. Welcome back, saints and seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining me. I know that you, like me, are listening to all the events out there in the world and uh, things tuning up in the war area. Drums, war drums beating a little louder. Leaders speaking a little dangerously. And uh, the people wait. So, you know, while we're just waiting on the Lord and waiting to see what happens next, we are told by the Lord to occupy. You know, you just keep doing the best you can. Hopefully you're finding ways to uh, spread the gospel of Jesus Christ and to speak hope that comes from Jesus into others' lives and um, serve the Lord with joy. You know, we need that joy and peace in our hearts and that comes from that rest time with the lord knowing that he's got this that's not just something we say i hear some christians that do just say that but he does have this he is the god of glory he's the god that created heaven and earth and he created you and me there is a god there is a heaven there is a hell and choices are being made where we will spend eternity every day. And, you know, we get up every day. We make that initial choice to make Jesus Lord of our life. But every day when you get up, when you're faced with all of this news and uh, pressures on every side, you make a choice every day. I will stand with Jesus. I will stand with Jesus. Lord, I will remain faithful. I will stand with you. Help me to do it. Jesus name well anyway while we're waiting you know I've got a prepper channel I listen to and his little theme is uh, chores preps and fun that's his order for us getting things done chores do your chores the things you have to do every day to maintain your home and family and then do some preparation if you see that war is coming and things are changing and you see from inflation and different things, it is changing. What can you do to prepare? Water, food, security, etc. And of course, our eternal security is the most important thing that we have made Jesus Lord of our life. Anyway, I was going to just uh, talk about this little recipe I made. My mom used to make this um, when I was young and kind of an easy thing to throw together just go through the recipe kind of quickly for you i call it an egg noodle casserole Let's see if we can get down a little bit more you can probably see cheese on top egg noodles meat etc to start this i just spray that pan with azel coconut oil to get it ready set the temperature on the oven for about 350. i brown some hamburger meat and I brown a yellow onion with that, add my salt and pepper, and I, today I added garlic salt. You might could use minced garlic in it. So you're browning that together, draining that grease off, and uh, the egg noodles, I used half a bag of egg noodles in the, about a nine by 13 inch pan today. <clears throat> you know, if you're feeding a family, you might want to do more, but this is you know, enough for a single person like me to do four meals. I can put two in the freezer and have two before I might get tired of it. So egg noodles in the bottom. And I had about a half a cup of sharp cheddar cheese left over that I sprinkled in. And another probably half a cup that I put a fourth of a cup maybe in with the noodles. And I saved a fourth of a cup for the top to, uh, you know, I use the aluminum foil on it to uh, seal it and cook the noodles good, then take that off, sprinkle more cheese on top and uh, let it brown up a little bit. Makes it a little, 
prettier, cheesier, yummier. So anyway, that's kind of what is in that, is egg noodles, you brown meat, onion, salt, pepper, and garlic, and add that to it. You uh, add your cheeses in, maybe three-fourths of a cup of cheese, reserve a fourth of a cup for the top, and um, milk. And I was going to show you my shelf-stable milk from Dollar Tree. That just comes in a box, but I guess I put it back in the refrigerator. So, um, you mix that cream of mushroom soup, one can, with about, I would say, uh, one and a half cups of milk. And so, once you've got the cheese, meat, onions, noodles in there, you're just dumping that over it, sealing it with the foil, putting it in the oven, 25-30 minutes, taking the aluminum foil off, and adding a little more cheese and browning it another 10 minutes. So that's kind of that comfort food that many of us like when we choose to have some pasta. I don't eat a lot of bread, but I was feeling comfort food mode. So I fixed this and I mixed up a package of Betty Crocker blueberry muffin mix. Would make, it's supposed to make six small ones, but I decided to make four medium ones because I had this larger muffin tin. So that is what I am making. I have reused my aluminum foil. Depression era people would be so proud of me. Second run on it. I'm going to take that couple bits of cheese that got on it, save it again for the next time. I'm not throwing away and wasting things right now. <laughs> so that is what I'm doing. I have recently gotten a fig tree. So there's my ripe fig off of there. It's probably going to be my dessert later. And then I had purchased two peaches that tasted really good from a market. Saving my peach seeds to try and grow my own peach tree. So that's kind of what I'm doing in the chores, preps, and having fun. Kind of had fun outside. I've been digging in a few more shrubs. And uh, that's kind of my fun. It's a hobby, but it's also preparation too. You know, I'm uh, planting three blueberries today. So I have that along with my fig tree and I've planted an apple tree, a plum tree, and a peach tree. Not today. I did those the other day. But uh, I am just working on that. I may not be here to enjoy all the fruit off of that. Who knows? We'll see what comes. But you don't know that in the future your family could enjoy that or someone else. I think of the story of Johnny Appleseed going across and uh, being faithful to plant his little apple seeds everywhere he went. That was his contribution. And uh, what is our contribution today? To serve the Lord, to serve our neighbors and our family. We need to serve the Lord with joy, and we need to wait on Him in prayer and worship and staying busy. Well, I love you and Jesus loves you more. If you need to give your heart to the Lord, Acts 2.38 tells you to repent, to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And Father, we pray for our world. We pray for the decisions that are being made in the nations. We know the times we're living in. We know that your word will be performed. And uh, we just pray that you help us to remain faithful and to patiently endure whatever you bring us to, Lord. We love you. We want to serve you with all of our hearts. Bless our families. Help us to be saved. We thank you for the mercy you've shown in our lives, Father. And for those listening, I pray that you bless them, encourage them with whatever they're going through, Lord, that you are there and that many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord will bring them out of them all. I may have changed up that scripture a little bit, saints, but the meaning is correct. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord shall deliver them out of them all. Praise God. Another one that comes to mind before I shut this down. I've never seen the righteous forsaken 
nor his seed begging for bread. Let's just make sure that we have the righteousness of Jesus Christ in our hearts and we are walking righteously, being holy as he is holy. I love you. Be blessed.